Helena Schmitz is an artist for the Tunnel Banner, Stockholm's underground rail circuit. Chosen specifically for the job, she provides blown up images of carnivorous flowers to be exhibited. It's uh, close ups, but I have done them like in a small part of a studio. And it's, it's quite simple, it's just a um, uh, piece of paper or velvet behind them, and then I do like a little thing with metal, da da da. You know, the, I, we can look at uh, one of my books. Helena goes off to fetch her 2007 book, Blow Up. She took the photos originally for National Geographic magazine. SL found these and knew exactly what they wanted. I got this assignment. They specifically wanted the close-up and I think it works very well in that space because mm. they're quite striking and strong. One of the difficulties of creating art for the underground is making sure it can withstand all the dust and grime of the trains. Not to mention vandalism. The most important with public art is that it's washable. It can be ruined. Anyone who wants to, to ruin it can do that. To make the photographs last for the year, the images are created in a special way. It's a photograph mounted on aluminium and then it has a film, I mean because it's really, really thin, on top of the image. But that's not really a protection. If you take a knife, you can take a pair of keys or whatever, you can, you can ruin it. And it's not just the framing that's unusual. It's the, the art, but then it's also uh, compete, so to say, in this room with all the advertisement. And uh, since those images are very often kind of, it's many things going on, I, I wanted to um, do a stricter, stricter language of uh, images, you know, strict, simple forms. That's what I try to, to do. Helena is now reaching a unique new audience. It's so wonderful and it's also so interesting to, to that my work will uh, meet people that would never go maybe to an exhibition, that would never go uh, buy a book for 300 crowns, so it's a whole new audience and uh, I think it's, I'm very honoured, you know, I think it's a very beautiful thing that we have in Sweden with this public art, so I think it's really, truly wonderful. I think it's, I think it's great. For Helena, her artwork is about changing a space, making it look good and therefore safe and to be respected. Things are getting broken, you know, and, and if it's a poor community or in a poor place and you don't have time to, to, to fix it or if it's not painted or if the paint is falling off the walls, I think it creates a bad, uh, not a bad karma, but I think if, if it's looked after and if it's nice, if it's neat, I think it, students or young people tend to be, take care more. So people will feel better in that space, you know, because it's a kind of, creates a kind of hopelessness. If you have to, if you're 12 years old and you have to walk past the broken window and, you know, paint falling down. So I think it's, I think it's important to, to keep things in shape and not to have really bad areas where people live and really bad schools and not maintained. I think it's, I think it's bad for the mind and uh, yeah, I think so. I think it's actually, of course it affects you. I mean. For a look at Helena Schmitz's work and decide for yourself its effect, take the tunnel banner's red line from T-Centralen. The artwork is on view from now until the end of December.